But why have we come back to Baker Street? It would have been better to join Baines to interrogate those criminals. No. In the hands of the police, those crooks won't talk, and you know it. They risk being hanged. I don't understand anything here. We must explore all our leads. Let us take a look at the map of London. We have arrived. The bishop's nephew lives here? Yes, he runs a ground floor room. Can I help you, gentlemen? How do you do, madam? We should like to see one of your lodgers, Henry Hamford. Well, he's away. And you must understand, I don't open my door to strangers, especially with all these prowlers about. That is the reason for our visit. You're the police? No, Henry is a friend of ours. He expressed his concern to us about these intruders. We're here at his request. I'm not surprised. Mr. Henry, while he might seem strange at first, is a thoughtful and kind man. He must have noticed how worried I've been. Why, just this morning some of my washing was stolen, and I'm sure it was those ones who took it. It seems like the best place to start our investigation. May we step into your garden and then perhaps look into our friend's room? I don't see anything wrong with your looking over the garden, but his room... You understand, he didn't warn me. I understand. What should we do next, Holmes? Let's have a look in the garden. Without a doubt, it is the linen belonging to Henry's landlady. Indeed, there appears to be some linen missing. And for some unknown reason, Holmes decides to steal some pegs. This window overlooks the room belonging to the nephew of the Bishop of Knightsbridge. There should be a spade here. A small pickaxe. Closed. A rake. Why take it, Holmes? Yes, that's what I was wondering about those pegs. Tins of food tied to one another. The wire seems long enough. They look to me as though they're rudimentary traps used to indicate the presence of intruders. Oh, what a jumble! I mean, this lady has already had clothes stolen from her back garden, and now we're stealing her tools. There is something interesting here. Good, we can pass. The remains of a small meal. Someone has stayed here rather a long time. This newspaper is four days old. The bishop's nephew was being watched long before his uncle's murder. Nothing of interest here. This clothing is torn. The man who stole it must have caught it on a tree when he stood upon the fence. And at the moment when he jumped, he left this jacket in the tree. Wait. What? Excuse me, uh, Watson. So the person stole clothes, stood on top of the shed, and somehow managed to get the jacket caught up there? Okay. It is just as I thought. 
Here's an ideal view of Henry's room. Is this the washing you were looking for? Oh yes, that's it. Where did you find it? On the ground. Doubtless blown there by the wind. They didn't steal it then. I'd have felt better knowing that those lurkers were nothing more than clothes thieves. That is not the case, madam. This affair seems to be rather more serious than that. It appears that these intruders were spying on Henry. Now please, let us see his room. Gracious me, whatever next. Come in. Take the first door on the left. It's open. He never locks it. Never? No, never. Well, you know him. He doesn't do things like everyone else. He lives in a world of his own. When did you see him last? Did he say anything to you? Yesterday morning. He just muttered a few words. I can't always understand what he's saying. When he does talk, that is. I can ask him a question, but he just stares off somewhere. The floor, the ceiling. As if I wasn't there. At first I found it strange, but I've gotten used to it. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. He's sometimes nervous too, isn't he? Oh yes, as soon as anything upsets him. Even when he's alone in his room he gets cross. And then the next second he is standing stock still. He stares off into space and calms down again as fast as he became angry. He got his scarf out, but he forgot to take it. Someone emptied a bag here. No hat, no coat. This rubbish bin was emptied, and then someone threw a torn piece of paper in it. And judging by the smell, there was also an onion. Onion? Let us put these torn pieces of paper on the table. This candle is still hot. It's been used recently. During the day? Whatever for? What is this strange installation? Oh, lovely. And apparently, this puzzle is randomized. And there are four solutions for it. Okay, let's try. Well, hopefully, this will work out first time. It's not the most simplistic of puzzles. I believe a lot of these stains go in this corner here. Okay, that's not a bad start. But these are quite nondescript. I mean, there's patterns on here, but 
it's not the most obvious layout. Okay. Well, that side's not too bad because of the creases and also because of the dark stains right here. This wasn't too painful, not too difficult, but still. Both sides of the paper are blank. All this for nothing, Holmes. Perhaps not, Watson. Stinging Warp Streets, okay. They are pretty much in relative order. If you do get them wrong, you have to swap these words and numbers around, but apart from the singing Warp Streets in this pattern, it, it, it is all pretty much in order. Or I could be wrong. The address of a dock on the Thames. Alright, I was completely wrong. It was in order from left to right, top to bottom. I stand corrected. It is an impressive library for someone living alone. And he's read all that. Impressive. A violin. It is a lovely one, but where's its case? There is something interesting here. A box, let's see. For a logic puzzle, this one isn't too bad. He scratched the lock cipher codes for himself. Watson, write them down for us. There are four in total. It is noted. And you don't have to worry about collecting them in order. It is noted. I have noted down everything. This lock is very complex. The young Henry is remarkably intelligent. Compared to the Civil War lock, this one is a piece of cake. What we have here on the first one is we have 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, and then 3 plus 5 equals... eight. And this one here, all the sums from top to bottom equal 9, 4, 7, 9, 6, 7, 9, 5, 8. So that one is just 1, which means you don't have to, have to move it. This one here is 21 minus 3 is 18, minus 2 is 60, minus 1 is 15. 15 minus 12 is, sorry, 50 minus 3 is 12, minus 10, minus 1. So... 9 minus 3 is 6, so 2 minus 6 is 4. A logic puzzle that even I can explain, that's a new one. Right. So the top ones differ by 2, 10, 8, 6. The, bottom, the middle one is by 4, 3, 7, 11. So this one must be two, three, four. Empty. But according to the label, 
This box contained a Colt Patterson. It is a powerful weapon, Holmes. And judging by the receipt, it was new. My dear Watson, in the garden and in this room, pieces are missing that should never have left their places. What do you think? Revolver, violin case, and the shovel. Well, there's definitely a shovel missing, a gun missing, and the violin case. Quick, Watson, there's not a moment to lose. Go and thank that charming lady while I try to recapture our new friend. Recapture? What makes you think that he has run away? I believe that our man suffers from behavioural problems. You must have seen or heard about those poor fellows who spend their time counting the gravel stones in the garden or moving objects from one place to another hundreds of times in one day. Well, the bishop's nephew suffers from a moderate form of this condition. Nothing would be more disturbing to him than to leave a personal space in such chaos. And yet this is what he has done with this room. For it to reach such a state of neglect can only indicate that he was in a most desperate situation. And do you think that you can catch him? Yes. The candle here is still warm, so he left only a few minutes before our arrival. But it is the missing violin case and the large pistol which concern me. We know that he is quick-tempered and volatile. It is never wise to leave a gun quite capable of killing a bull in the hands of someone like that. Did he leave to go to the address which was written in the invisible ink, do you think? Undoubtedly, Watson. And as for the missing spade, I can tell you that it will be used for digging. Are you ever going to stop delaying me with endless questions? So, gentlemen, have you found anything? We have learned enough to promise you that they will not return. That makes me feel better. Thank you, gentlemen. We are going to pay a visit to that mysterious address, Watson. But first, we must detour to Lambeth. Lambeth? What are we going to do there? Pick up an old friend. He will be a precious help in our locating Mr. Hampford. Good. And who is this friend? A friend who helped us in the case you so romantically titled The Sign of the Four. <laughs> 